So, uh, about nine months ago, my, my friend came to me and she, you know, she texts me, we buy each other something for Christmas every year. This year, we have a limit. This year, well, past year, she asked if she could go over the limit a little bit. She said she wanted me to get her the new expansion for World of Warcraft, which was Shadowlands. Now, I laughed at her a lot. We used to play this a lot, and I couldn't believe she was going back to the game. I was just, like, making fun of her, getting, dig- getting back into that time suck. So anyway, t- the next day, as I was downloading World of Warcraft, I realized that I hadn't played it in about seven years. Now, this video, I wanted to talk about uh, the thing, the observations. Observations of a player. I'm a bit of a time capsule. I left sort of at the end of Panda, Um, and then I just, I wasn't, I quit cold turkey, I wasn't playing at all, I closed everything, and then I came back to it, and, you know, this is sort of, I've done, tried to do this video a couple times, this is sort of the observations of a returning player after such a long period of time. I missed a lot of expansions, I missed a lot of good things, I missed a lot of bad things, and this is kind of my my overview. Like I said, I've tried to do this before, but the video just keeps stretching out and out and out. So I decided to break it into a bunch of different things. This one, I'm going to talk about the gameplay. Now, the gameplay, I have played the game. When I started playing WoW, I started playing WoW kind of in the middle of vanilla. And I tried it out. It didn't really catch on because I didn't have my friend. I didn't have a whole lot of friends to play with. Um, I had played... MMOs before I played Star Wars Galaxies uh, back in the day, and I played Fantasy Star Online on the Dreamcast, if you remember that, and then on the GameCube, uh, which was excellent. They were outstanding games, but I kind of came back. It was in the Wild West days of World of Warcraft. I really got into it, and I really started playing. And this is the character on, as you see on the screen that I created a long time ago. Now he's bounced around a bunch of different uh, servers as I moved around servers with with people that I played with. Uh, but this is an original character. This is like one of my first Horde characters that I ever I ever played, and he, I'm still playing him. He's my main today. So I played at the end of Vanilla into BC and then all the way through, and the observations of, of the gameplay between then and now, and my biggest problem is we are reaping the fruits of the Activision Blizzard merger. We are dealing, we're playing a game that has been severely dumbed down, in my opinion. You might think it's great, you may hate the old system, but here's what I felt about the old system. The old system allowed a lot of of tweaking. Yes, there was min-maxing. Yes, there was like, if you really wanted to play at a competitive level, there was only one way you could spec your character, and that was it. You had to stick with that. Um... Now the game is so flexible that it's it doesn't matter what you play, you know, it doesn't matter what your gear is. It's 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 so back then, you say you were a tank. There was a specific job as tank and there was a specific job as off tank if you were a raider. So a tank went all the way down the uh protection line of talents. And this is on the screen right now, this is the old talent system. Tank went all the way down, filled everything he could everything that was useful, and then would pick a little bit from the other ones as well. You could sort of, you had your main spec, you got your talents from there. When you reached the end of that spec, you could reach into other talents. You could reach into the arms and you could reach into the fury and pull abilities to kind of, what you would do is you would tweak your character. Now, a devoted tank would be a devoted tank, but the off tank would go get other talents to make him uh do more offense the off tank pulls aggro off of the off of the tank when the tank needs it uh when he needs to get his health back up or if there's a debuff that they need to go run out and things like that it was rating was different back then too so that's that's another thing that i'm going to get into on the the gameplay side but you don't see that anymore instead of think of it as as the old talent system as a lake it's big it's wide open you could go into a nice cove and hang out. You could go jet ski. You know, you could pull a, a skier. You know, you could do what you wanted. Whereas the talents now are sort of a river. Now the river will fork, but when you take that fork, you're basically going 
in the direction of that fork. Now, you can screw that up still. That was part of the, one of the things with the, that they didn't like, uh, the casual players. And that's sort of what World of Warcraft is. World of Warcraft is very geared towards the casual players. There's still, the bulk of the population is still hardcore players, uh, whether they admit it or not, whether they think they are or not. I mean, if you play the game, I'd say three times a week, you're a hardcore player. You're a hardcore WoW player. Um, it's geared for very to be very casual friendly, which isn't a bad thing. You know, it, it increases the population, but as you see now with, with World of Warcraft, the population is dwindling, so that approach is getting very watered down in, in a situation. But the gameplay is definitely, the talent system is definitely watered down. You pick up talents every five levels until you reach your max level, and then you don't pick up any more, and that's, that's it. You can tweak those around. Once again, that's one of the cool things, is you don't get penalized for switching your spec. Back in vanilla, back, back in Burning Crusade, if you went from a Fury Warrior to a Protection Warrior, that was a big thing. That cost you gold. Uh, you had to completely get entirely new gear. Uh, it was a big step, and it, it was a big thing in your guild if, you, if your guild made you do that. That was kind of, you're committing to that job, and the guild is appreciative of that. You know, you get raids, you get, you get to do heroics and things like that. Um, so that was, that was cool, but it's sort of watered down. It, it takes away the, um, the dedication to a certain spec that everything it everything can just be you you can just change specs you can go you can do all three specs within the span of an hour and it doesn't penalize you at all for that um the next thing is the gameplay the actual when you're actually out doing quests the world isn't dangerous anymore um back in vanilla back in burning crusade when you first got to hellfire peninsula when you got almost anywhere until you started getting really good heroic gear um, the world was dangerous. If you pulled too many mobs, you could die. You would probably die. I, I realized this the other day when, as, as a tank, I'm out doing quests, and I remember I pulled like eight or nine mobs to me, and I just, I just stood there. My health never went below 90%. I just, one by one, just wiping them out, and it, it wasn't a danger. It was, it became... Doing a quest is just a, a an investment of time. It's not there's not a risk, there's not a danger. There's not really the only time there's any any danger is when I go into war mode, which is another thing I'll talk about uh, probably in a later video. War mode's brilliant. Um, the dungeons, dungeons in Shadowlands, dungeons in this modern version of WoW, dungeons are better than they've ever been. I came up in the days of just tank and spank. You stood there. You pointed the, the dragon away from the party because, you know, breath, breath attacks. Um, there was really no mechanics. You just stood there. If there was enough DPS and if you had enough armor to withstand the, the boss, you won. Every boss now has a mechanic, which is brilliant. It's, it, it gets everybody involved, especially the tank. Sometimes the healer has to do a different role. Sometimes the DPS have to completely go get an add. Uh, ignoring the, the the boss and have to deal with that ad certainly so the the raids and the and the instances are more brilliant than ever they're better than ever um, PvP in the gameplay I'll, I'll probably do another one on this PvP's dead they've put no effort into it so there's no reason to PvP um, quests are quests are quests they feel like a time suck still um, I will say it has vastly improved from the vanilla days. Vanilla, they gave you a quest. There was nothing. And there, there was you had to read the quest and put together the clues as to what you would get. And some of them were good. Some of them were well-designed. Other ones were just completely vague back in the day. But uh, the questing is much better. It's much more fluid. Now, the problem with it being such a big game and having such a long leveling process in the game they've kind of fallen on their faces, is levels 1 through 59, you're just trying to go get the next level. You don't really feel like you're engaging with the community. You don't really feel like you're engaging with the story that much. Um, especially levels 49 through 1, you're just 
grinding through something because you have to grind through it. Now, I kind of wish WoW would, you know, figure out a way to get those levels involved, maybe figure out a way to incentivize higher level players to go down and help those lower level players or, or you know, just something that would make that not such a chore. And that's what a lot of World of Warcraft feels like now, especially with Corthia and uh, Torghast. A lot of it feels like a chore. A lot of it feels like a time suck. And I, I know that the game has always had these these special areas where you went and picked up dailies, but it never felt like such a, you know, such like, what's that wheel? The hamster wheel. It never felt like such a hamster wheel back in, until this expansion, until I got into it and have gotten back into playing now. Which kind of brings me to systems. The, the systems is probably going to be the last thing to talk about this. Somewhere along the line, somewhere between Panda and now, Blizz, the Blizz development, got addicted to gameplay systems. I don't know exactly when it happened, but I came back and there's Path of Ascension. There's your legendary system. There's the um, the Soulbind system. There's... Oh, God, what is it? The um, Covenant system. They got addicted to putting in all these these other little systems, which feel like you're... It, it, it feels like spinning plates. You have a bunch of plates, and you're constantly trying to spin it. You're trying to make sure one of the plates doesn't fall behind and run out of momentum and fall on the ground. So, once again, it feels like a bunch of busy work to keep the player, quote-unquote, engaged when they're not really engaging in the gameplay they're they're more engaging in the system so that they don't fall behind the other players and that's that doesn't feel like fun to me that doesn't really interest me it it feels like once again it feels like a chore it feels like a chore to have to deal with the soul binds and all the stuff i did with the covenant just felt like a time suck the, especially now torgas torgas could have been a really cool idea it's a, it's a puzzle dungeon. It's a never-ending puzzle dungeon that's always different, always difficult. Well, it's supposed to be always difficult, and it always it just keeps going up and up and up and up and up. The problem is, it doesn't feel like that ever. It just feels like a time suck. Once again, you get into situations that when I do it, I don't feel like I'm in danger. It just feels like the boss I'm fighting isn't really a threat to me. There really isn't a, a mechanism to fighting that boss. I just have to stand there and it's going to take four and a half minutes to kill that boss. The next boss. Oh, it's going to take, for me, maybe two minutes to kill that boss. That's what it feels like. It doesn't feel like an effort investment. It feels like a time investment. And that's probably where where Blizz is is falling on its face right now is so many of the gameplay systems and so much of the gameplay feels like just this isn't dangerous to me. I can do that. My character can do this. That I don't worry about my gear or I don't worry about, hey, maybe I should go get a couple other players to help me with this. It just feels like, okay, this is going to take me seven minutes. If I combine it with this, Yes, it'll take me nine minutes, but I'll get two things done. It seems like a lot of time management of time sucks. So that's that's kind of my feel, my feelings on this one. Um, I'm definitely going to get into the rating. Rating is better than it's ever been. Instances of it is better than it's ever been. But strangely, PvP is worse than it's ever been. But I'll get into that, into other things if... Um, you know, if you're one of these players who played through all, maybe you're maybe you're the opposite of me. Maybe you picked up like right at Panda, and then you've played all this other stuff. What am I missing? When did when did Blizz become addicted to systems? Um, I know there were some systems in the past that people didn't like, and some people did like, and then uh, I think it was uh, what was the one? Battle for Azeroth had apparently nobody liked battles for Battle for Azeroth, which is just kind of cringy. I like the aesthetic. I played through it, bringing my characters up. I played through it. It's got a very um, Aztec troll aesthetic to it, and I really like that. But uh, tell me what you think. Tell me tell me what I'm missing, if you think there's any factors that I'm missing along the way. And um, I think the next one's probably going to be about the community, and I got a lot to say about that. So, you guys, thanks for your time. Thanks for listening. You guys go have a good day. Bye.